I'm as if I'm that. I'm a homicide lieutenant in Chicago. I have about 150 detectives that work with me. And we get all the heater homicide. And here's a case that captures a lot of attention, a lot of media attention. Boyfriend of Lanisha Miller, whose remains were found in the Calumet River, is charged with murder. Prosecutors say he and his brother killed and dismembered Miller after a fight. It was here, the 2300 block of West 57th Street, where Goody was shot and killed when an unknown gunman approached him outside his van. Murder mystery unfolding on the city's southwest side tonight. A mother and her son murdered inside their home on West 55th Place. Night, Chicago police say they are speaking to a person of interest in this case. More disturbing details emerge today. Visible blunt force trauma to both sides of her head and a sock shoved into her mouth and deep down her throat. Our cameras are there as police arrest a teen who's now charged with killing a woman as she left a Starbucks. That's shooting just a couple of blocks away from Chicago Police Headquarters. In Chicago, we call major cases heaters because they bring heat on everybody. When I had a heater, I went to Ozzy. The Ozzy would give me the same answer. Boss, we got this. On February 2nd of 2016, we had the biggest heater in Chicago since the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Talk about a heater case? That was a heater case. We began with breaking news and the killing of six family members in Gage Park. Every single victim was stabbed repeatedly. Herminia Martinez was the only victim who was shot. And she is the mother of the two young children. Lisa said that there was no forced entry in this home. This is a developing story, and as we learn more, we will bring that to you. That's it for now. I'm Anita Padilla in Gage Park. Back to you in the studio. But this is one of those cases where when you learn the details, you almost become sick to your stomach. I mean, literally, I was, my stomach got sick. Walking through that house was very difficult. It was a Mexican-American thing, much like mine. And the first thing that came to my mind was, I had those meal, they look at Pasoki. Walked through the back door, I saw a grandmother beating me stabbed to death. Towards the front room, I saw a young kid in the living room. As I went down to the basement, young kid beating me stabbed as well. And then I saw the mother of the two young kids shot. This crime is almost unspeakable. Methodical slaughter of six human beings. That is one of the examples of what we call in Chicago heater cases. And as a duty judge, those are the kind of cases that we are on call to handle. Everyone thought it was a cartel hit or a gang hit. The next thing I know, I get a message through Messenger from a man who says, I have information that I need to talk to you about. And he tells me, basically, that uh, it was a cartel hit. We flew, myself and four detectives, including some federal agents, flew to Mexico City, conducted an interview. That was a dead end. We had someone who told us that he actually drove with the offenders there and drove them away. That, too, was a dead end. In law enforcement and in the criminal justice system, you can build your case, bring it to the charging stage, and the prosecutor charges. I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the Detective Bureau, led by Chief Gene Roy, and to Lieutenant Ozzy Valdez, who led the investigation. If you want to find out what really happened, watch Heaters. Chicago's a tough town, and in order to fight crime, you gotta be tough. I don't just fight crime, I knock it out.